Beta male accountability. I see a lot of men who allow heartbreak to make them bitter, right? Allow red pill to make them bitter, allow MGTOW to make them bitter. But what you have to have is beta male accountability. You know, when they tell you to forgive, it's always for yourself, it's never for the other person. Because forgiveness is truly something that sets you free and releases you. But when you have so much focus and mind stay on holding a grudge or being bitter or becoming resentful for, let's say, heartbreak or things that may have happened in your past, right? It consumes you. It doesn't consume the other person because that person has that power over you and that control over you. So when you begin to take accountability for your beta ways, for maybe how you was behaving in the past, right? Now, this doesn't excuse a woman cheating on you if you've been cheated on or, you know, if she, you know, she, she did some fucked up shit to you. This just simply says, what role did I play in that? And being a man, this is a good quality to have, Kings, because this doesn't just spread over to relationships. This spread over to finances, business, right? Personal, how you deal with your family, right? You have to learn to start taking accountability for the things you may have done. Let me give you an example. You may have met a woman that others warned you about. You may have met a woman that your friends or family or maybe you yourself knew what type of woman she was. But you still gave her a chance, fell in love with her, and you faced heartbreak, right? But now that you have been done wrong, you have become that woman. You have become scorned, right? Bitter. Instead of looking and saying, well, I'm not excusing, you know, her wrongdoings or what she, you know, the part she played in it. I'm just simply being man enough to look at my situation and what I can do different next time. Beta male accountability. Man, that's, that's a beautiful phrase, man. Like, it's a beautiful title. Because in order to have beta male accountability, you are no longer beta. Because a beta male will never have accountability. They will always feel like the victim, right? Because they are. They are a victim to life. They allow shit to happen to them, right? They just go with emotions. So... In order to have beta male accountability means you have moved past that phase in your life. You are no longer what you were yesterday. Because in order to have accountability in any aspect in life, we have must move and grown to something better. Because when you have no accountability, right, you are currently still living in that. You are currently still dreading off that. You're living in the past. You're bitter. You're resentful. You're angry. But for someone to acknowledge the role they played in any scenario or situation is extreme growth, man. It literally doesn't get any better than that. This is why you can see someone forgive their parents who may did them wrong, right? Forgive their basketball coach who told them they wouldn't be shit. Forgive their childhood girlfriend, right? Their childhood crush. It's because this is extremely maturity, bro. It's extremely alpha. But it's not alpha in the sense of putting on the front for cool points. It's just this individual have grown so much as a man that he's in a place in his life where he's unfazed by that shit. That shit made him a better man. He knows that. He know he needed he needed to go through that in order to be who he are who he is. Excuse me today. Because nine times out of ten, if he never went through that, he would probably still be behaving like that. Right. 
So when you have that beta male ac accountability, you are alpha. There's no way around it. Because when I talk to beta males, right? And this is not saying beta males in, in terms of judging them. This is just simply saying even they acknowledge that they're beta and they want to become more alpha, right? The biggest problem I see with them is accountability, which ties into forgiveness, acceptance, right? Which allows you to move forward to the next phase in your life, which is hopefully becoming the best version of yourself and the more alpha version of yourself. But we can't do that with resentment. We can't do that scorn because those are feminine qualities. Right? So the first stage and the first thing I try to get my kings to do when I coach is I try to get them to forgive. I try to get them to realize you are forgiving your ex who broke your heart for you. You're not forgiving her for her. It's for you. Because until you do that, you are her emotional slave. She has you emotional. Meaning, the ex who fucks your friend, the ex who broke your heart, who stabbed you in the back, she controls your emotions. Maybe you miss her. If she called you today, you're happy to see her. <laughs> you're happy to hear from her. She still has that power over you. Maybe you can't stand her. You even hate her, right? You see her out and about with another man. You see her on social media with another man. Your whole day is fucked up. She still has that power over you. But when we take beta male accountability and say, okay, I'm not excusing the bullshit she did, but let me look at the, the beta male weak shit I was doing. Maybe I allowed her to cheat. Maybe I stayed with her while she was cheating. Maybe I allowed her to talk to me any type of way, which made her lose respect for me as a man. Maybe I didn't work. I allowed her to pay all the bills, right? Maybe I was out of shape, right? Lazy as fuck. Bummy, wasn't dressing good, you know? It's, it's nothing wrong with getting dressed up as a man, buying some cologne, buying some smell good, right? Maybe you got so content in your relationship to you wasn't hitting the gym, you wasn't improving yourself, you're fucking fat as fuck. Holes all in your clothes, Dorito stains on your fucking clothes, right? And then you get upset when she finds a man who is physically in shape attractive. When she finds a guy who is well-dressed attractive. Now you hate all women. You know, red pill is not an excuse to slack off. It's not an excuse to say, oh, if you're really real, you should accept me as a fucking bum. You should accept me as 500 pounds. You should accept me as broke. No. We are better than that, right? So, for men out there who identify as beta, right? Because I have guys all the time say, Hey man, what's up? I'm new to the channel. I'm beta. I'm looking to become more alpha, right? The first step is beta accountability. Sit back and acknowledge the weak shit you did. Sit back and acknowledge the, the beta male traits you may have given off this can be something as simple as being extremely jealous right extremely insecure going through her phone if you have to do all this shit why are you with her king there's no way you could slice shit like that you going through her phone you know you you're, you're extremely insecure you're trying to see who she's texting what she's doing every fucking hour of the day what are you doing? Where are your part? You know, why are you not on your purpose? Why are you not on your journey, your path to become better? Because if you have that much time on your hands, then you are no better than her. You are not value because any high value male would not have enough time to give a fuck about what she's doing because he would be too focused on his shit, his purpose, his goals. So if you do want to constantly dread on the past and look at what, what your, you know, your, your first love or your ex did wrong to you, 
then why why you're why you're stuck in that past go ahead and replay the weak characteristics the beta male you know energy you was giving off and then once you identify that change that shit right become better it's really that simple game it's up to you when we acknowledge our mistakes and seek to improve those mistakes, right? And learn from those mistakes. Like they said, there's no such thing as an L, for real. There's no such thing as a loss, excuse me. It's only a lesson. L is not for a loss, it's only for a lesson. So, with that being said, sit back and observe your beta male ways and replace those ways over time by doing the opposite. If you know you were very insecure going through your girl phone because you didn't trust her, now working on becoming more alpha, how can you change that? You can change that by building up self-love, right? Building up confidence, right? Loving yourself, becoming secure with who you are. Because once you become secure with who you are and you love yourself and you build self-confidence, you won't be doing those insecure things because you are not insecure, right? It's not rocket science, right? So use this as a time, whether you're just not going through heartbreak or you went through heartbreak in the past, use this time to really reflect on the shit you may have done wrong and really hone in and focus on those things to change them and become a better man. If you enjoyed this video, Make sure you hit that like button, Kings. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, hit that share button, man. Feel free to share it to your friends and your families. Let's help them become the best version of themselves as well. Also, if you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, book a free consultation. It's a video consultation where I'll go over and I'll sit down, talk to you on a video, and we can discuss anything. Anything in life. It's not limited, King. Whether you want to talk about fitness, whether you want to talk about your love life, whether you want to talk about female nature, whether you want to talk about semen retention or NoFap. Feel free to book a consultation and we can get that done, King, to help you become a better man and a more alpha version of yourself. Till next time, Alpha Sincere, salute.